Okay. So I got 15 minutes. Let's see if I can rush through this video. Uh, this video is primarily to white men because I realize it's only white men who can fix this problem. Because they are uh, the uh, majority in this country, you know, in terms of producers, in terms of, you know, those that feel the most pressure uh, to earn and provide for their families. And, you know, they're the ones that, uh, in my opinion, really don't get it when they subscribe, you know, to all these conservative values. And I told you, I told you, I've been saying it for a while, uh, that eventually, uh, you know, those conservative values are going to back you into a corner. And I'm, and I'm not talking about religion or any of that stuff. Like I can, I can get into, you know, how that stuff is used as a, as a tool against you to get you to, to, to further, you know, cement you into the corner. But I'm primarily talking about uh, whittling you down to nothing. Now, I brought this up in that Calvin McDonald's video or the Dave Chappelle Whack Donald's skit uh, and how, you know, Kelvin, you know, he's he walks to McDonald's. He gets this bullshit job. The girls pull up in the drive through. Kelvin's walking. Right. And, and the McDonald's commercial doesn't even have sense enough to actually show like Kelvin's improvement in quality of life. That's why people are working They're not just working because working is good for the soul. You know, all this sort of not, that's Now you start coming in with the, some of the silly religious stuff. But I'm saying, you know, this is primarily this video is, is directed at at white men, young white men, because they're like the main group that doesn't get it. And and this Ramsey video, the two Ramsey videos, I mean, it's like they're doubling down on the shit. And I told you, I'm like the same talking points that, you know, the system of white supremacy has been given, you know, black people, namely black men for a long time. Oh, they're lazy. Oh, they don't want to work. Oh, this, that and the third. I, I, I already I knew it. I already knew it that that's exactly what the boomers were going to do to y'all. And then even if you're even if you're like the thing is, is they try to they try to make it like like this, like have this political affiliation. Again, this is about this is about class and this and, and not only that class of over over generations. Because they try to convince you, you know, oh, you know, if you're if you're just lazy, then that means that you're a leftist and you subscribe to socialism and they're trying to do everything in the book to get around actually paying people decent wages. I've said it before. The quality of life has gone down. It has not gone up. They like to run around and tell you that there's there's a million and one opportunities out here. It's a gig economy. That's where that's where it is right now. It's a gig economy. Now does that mean that you can't go out and gain, you know, these sort of vocational skills and, you know, stuff like that. It seems like it seems like there had to be a scarcity of people even going into the trades before the wages went up. But unfortunately, you know, this society didn't prepare for that. They told everybody, go to school, put yourself in tons of debt, get an education, come out, and there will be a, you know, white collar job waiting for you that's going to allow you to, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, probably start off with, with the, you know, single bedroom apartment. You know, you're making money, you're saving, you know, you're able to date court women, uh, have a decent automobile. You know, then you find that girl of your dreams, you marry her, you go and you purchase a house, probably get some assistance, you know, from your family. Right. You know how the white people do. Right. Get some assistance from the family. And then you would be able to, you know, have, you know, two or three kids, preferably three to increase the white population. And then y'all would go off and live happily ever after. That was the dream that was sold to young white men. Now, again, and I, and I, I could just take the clips and do all that. But then you got to worry about copyright and all that crap and and and. I, I I don't know. It, it, they're they're a big enough channel to where like they just off oh, just copyright and I'm a small channel and then I get hit with some stupid stuff and then I gotta appeal. I don't even feel like going through that. I might make a video really breaking down what they're saying, but I've already covered it a million times. They're literally up there trying to get the because you know their main audience 2.5 million subs. Their main audience is young white men. 
you know, you know, young white men, or actually I shouldn't say young white men, but I'm saying their audience is mainly just white people in general, but there's a lot of young white men that listen to that, you know, and uh, how to get financially right and this, that, and the third. And, and, and they're like making talking points about getting out of debt and all this other stuff. These are young men that are just trying to get their life started. That guy, that, that white guy that made that TikTok talking about how, you know, if you're making less than $25 an hour, like you're, you're hurting out here. And he gave the whole, the whole breakdown. These are supposed to be the money guys gave the whole breakdown. And you know what their response was? Their response was get a roommate. You think that was young white men's fantasy, you know, uh, you know, coming up that, yes, yes, I want to I want to go to college and graduate and get out and or, or even not go to college. I'm saying, you know, just just in terms of how much money you have to make, that the idea was that that a young man cannot make it in this world to the point that he has to go and get a, a go and get a roommate. And not to mention to the guy that said this, and it wasn't Ramsey, it's one of the, the younger guys on there. Uh, you know, with this whole, you know, get a roommate, get a roommate. And 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 which 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 one of these young men with a roommate would you encourage your daughter to date? Please tell me, you know, direct me to him. You know, what I'm saying like, again, people people trying to sell ideas that would not be good enough for them and theirs. You know, again. 1955, Detroit, a man could graduate 18 years old, get a referral, get into GM, you know, the big three, GM, GM, Ford or Chrysler, work there for the next 30 years, full medical and dental pension, buy a modest home, you know, uh, have a car, stay at home wife. And that was the American dream. That is gone. That is gone. That has nothing to do with black people. That has nothing to do with Mexicans. That has nothing to do with Syrian refugees. That has to do with the old white boomers sitting at the big oak desk that don't want to pay anybody. And y'all drank the Kool-Aid, or excuse me, the Snapple. Y'all drank the Snapple. And y'all have believed in this idea of, oh, you know, it's hard, hard work. Oh, there's opportunities out there. And all you got to do is just grind and hard work and just hard work, hard work, hard work. And, 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 and people will recognize your hard work and, and you'll get paid and you'll be able to eke out a living. You know, that is bullshit. You know, hard work is, is, is so that the, 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 the people that have the patents, the people who control, you know, the companies, you know, you know, they get you to work hard for next to nothing. And that makes them rich. But you can't even get your life started. And then you throw in, I mean, I mean, it's like they just removed all the incentives, even going to Jordan Peterson. Rich Cooper was addressing this, talking about risk mitigation and how Jordan Peterson completely ignores that. You know, again, this this whole conservative like mindset that backs these men into a damn corner. You'll be a good moral Christian and get married. And, you know, he just I mean, he, and, and, and notice the shaming, you know, the Ramsey show. Oh, you guys, if you don't want to work, uh, you're wusses. And then Jordan Peterson in all his condescension when it comes to men, you know, not wanting to get married. Oh, you're going to be 40 five and, 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 and alone and all this other stuff. And you need to do, and, and what men need is they need responsibility. No, what they need is they need a uh, 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 decent wages. That's what the fuck they need. And, and notice it's all around that. They, they want to talk about everything in the world, except for paying people, everything in the world. Oh, you need Christ. You need the Bible. You need the sweet twinkle of white Jesus in your eye. You need personal responsibility. You know, you, you, you need all this stuff. Right. Because, I mean, if you don't have responsibility, you, you're, you're just going to be out here wild. That's that's like the, the, the freaking single mothers who will tell you, like, they had to have a kid because they were just wild. And if they didn't get pregnant, you know, they would just still be out there in the streets like, huh? You know what I mean? Like like the person like like the person has no self-discipline that they have to go and, 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 and put themselves in a situation that they're totally unprepared for in order to, you know, bring it together. You know, I mean, just nonsense. But anyway, getting off of that, my point is, is that, you know, they've just vacuumed all the incentives out of the room. 
This is why Andrew Tate and Kevin Samuels and, you know, all these, uh, you know, Better Bachelor and all these, you know, uh, Manosphere channels have blown up. You know, this is why people are running around looking at Andrew Tate like he's a god now that, you know, Kevin Samuels is not around. You know, because, <clears throat> you know, every incentive is vacuumed out of the room, right? You got women, you know, they, they can sell their pictures of their feet online to make money. Boomers didn't have to compete with that. They never had to compete with the idea of women making more money than them. And then on top of that, women still want to operate on, you know, hypergamy and solipsism. They didn't have to compete with that. Then, then uh, what else? Uh, the fact that you have women that, you know, they only want to date a dude that's making over $325,000 a year. That's, that's where dating starts for them. Boomers didn't have to compete with that. Then you have the fact that you got, you know, companies like Blackstone buying up all the freaking properties, trying to turn everybody into renters of single family homes. Right. On top of the fact that the boomers have basically, you know, you know, you know, cornered off the market, you know, prevented the development of new properties to keep their property values high. Like they're cutting their nose off despite the face. Here's what I talk about. I'm like white supremacy is in the, in decline. Like I'm looking at white supremacy. Like, like what are you all doing? Like as a black person, I'm saying, well, I guess that's good for us. But technically speaking, not really, because it's not like black people are prepared to grab the mantle of responsibility. You know, but I'm I'm looking at white supremacy like what are you doing? So like the reality is is like white supremacy, a lot of it has just been an illusion for the working class white folks. Because there's a whole bunch of bias, racial bias, you know, built into their conservative ideas and their conservative values. This is why you see the the, the increased rate of, of of white male self-deletion. This is why you see that. Because because okay, uh, you know. Can't get married. Women only want to date a dude starting at six figures. Uh, 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 freaking, um, you know, women are making their own money now. We got feminism, all that crap. You can't, you can't purchase a home. Uh, employers don't want to pay you. They most certainly don't want to pay you and give you full medical and dental and shit, right? I mean, I mean, just the list. And then you have, you know, uh, these these financial advisors saying, hey, you know, why don't you go and get a bunch of roommates? Why don't you go and talk to the women that don't want to date a dude that has a goddamn roommate? Why don't you go talk to them? Like, I mean, just like, 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 again, everything in the book, mental gymnastics to not pay people enough to, to, you know, actually live with some damn dignity. I'm going to use that word, some damn dignity. They don't care about your dignity. That's just the reality. Even I cringe every time I even see the stuff with these people talking about flipping houses and all that stuff. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, and, and, and get somebody else to pay you to pay your mortgage. And they again, they own nothing and they will be happy. But the reality is nobody's going to be happy. You know, I mean, I mean, the, the like whoever the muhaha oligarchic white men are like they are literally playing with fire. This is why they want to take everybody's guns away, in my opinion. Because because we are on the verge of revolution. Like I said before, you think January 6th was wild with, you know, uh, white men storming the Capitol. Those were white men that were like 55 years old. Wait till the young white men storm the Capitol or storm whatever. You know, but but that, but that time with actual firepower. I know the left will be up in arms. They'll be saying, oh, these are all white supremacists. Da, 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 da. You're not really understanding the underpinnings. Of I'm not saying you won't have white supremacists in there and some people trying to hijack the shit and talk about taking our country back and all this other crap. You know what I mean? But at the core of it, what you're going to have is you're going to have a bunch of angry, frustrated, young white men who could not get their lives started. And were basically told that due to their whiteness, that that there was that there was a bare minimum, that there was a floor that they couldn't fall below. And now they're discovering that they can fall below that. Now they're seeing now they're like, holy shit. You know, and so, you know, as I've been saying forever, you know, it's about class. It's not really about race. And these working class white men need to form Voltron with whoever, as opposed to these old, uh, you know, uh, tropes and shit, these old like like these paradigm concepts, 
You know, I, I, I get it. The white guys are like, hey, the white men, the white boomers have all the wealth. And we're hoping that, you know, at 40, maybe they'll pass us the torch and then we'll be able to get our lives started when they transfer, you know, all those all that wealth over to us. Yeah, that that works if you're, uh, you know, if, if that's your dad, you know, that works, you know, if, if, if that's your, you know, you know, your, your uncle or your grandfather or something like that, some somebody in the bloodline. But if that's if that's not you, if you come from a line of working class white people, you're pretty much fucked. You're pretty much screwed. You're pretty much in the same exact boat as Jamal and Marquise. You may not like that, but you're in the same boat. You know, because they're just not they're not put, putting out wages, you know, like that. They're just not. So unless you have some sort of hard skill, unless you went into computer science, which typically white conservatives don't do, which is why they're always bitching and complaining about how, you know, social media is all controlled by all the liberals. Yeah, because all the liberals decided that they were going to do computer science. So that's why they run all that shit. You know, so so I already know that y'all don't have those skills, you know, in the in that 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 apply to the tech industry. You know, a lot of you got the, you know, the I don't know what you want to call it, blue collar skills or skills where you work with your hands and then whatnot. And folks are not trying to pay. Or as one of the comments I saw, you know, they're telling young, oh, you know, you don't have the experience. We're only trying to pay skilled tradesmen. So then, you know, that's an issue. You know, but at the end of the day, you got a bunch of young men that cannot get their lives started. I don't even know who the boomers are going to sell their properties to if they don't sell their property. They like, like they think there's this infinite pool of people that can afford, you know, at least in the let, let's say the state of uh, of New Jersey that can afford, you know, an $800,000 home. They think I'm I'm not saying that you don't have people out there, you know, that have, you know, successful careers and sexual jobs and can do that. But I'm saying that 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 wave of young people, you know, like like again, when the when when World War when the silent generation came back from World War II, they had the government subsidize them with FHA loans and 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 Levitt towns and all that other stuff for them to be able to start their life. That's does that's not happening with young people and all that you're being told is pull yourselves up by the bootstraps. I'm like, I'm like, y'all need to get past your your racism, your bias, whatever you want. You, you need to get past that because you're getting you're getting screwed by the people who look like you. And all they're telling you is to whittle your lifestyle down to nothing, even though they sold you. They sold you a dream, literally sold you a dream that put you in debt for those of you who went to college. And you guys, you know, you, 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 you're only just beginning to start to see it. Because if you go over there and you look at all the comments on the Ramsey show, there is quite a, a few OK Boomer comments or OK Boomer-esque type comments that are like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You guys just assume, just get a job. Is that job is that job paying house buying wages? Because if it's not, then that job ain't shit. You know what I mean? Like uh, literally, li li and, and see, white men really can't handle that because they're they're like, how dare you treat me like a Mexican? How dare you treat me like I'm just that's again class. That's how they felt about you while you were so busy holding up, you know, the, 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 the freaking mantle of white supremacy while you were holding it up. Like, yeah, you're just, you're nobody to them. But y'all don't see that. Y'all ignore the class. You focus on race. All those black guys. You know, I'm hearing more and more white guys say, you know what? I'm thinking the black guys, you know, I I think they're on to something with this selling drugs and shit. I think they're on to something, you know, with the shit that they're doing and doing shit off the books and under the table and all the hustle illegal type. I think those black guys are on to something. I'm hearing more and more white men say that. So, you know, I mean... It, I mean, it's just hilarious. I might do a part two and really break down each thing that they're saying, because they literally came on there and said a whole bunch of nothing, a whole bunch of, you know, you need to reduce yourself down to basically, you know, not having anything at all, you know, and and do that for do that for two years, like as though better opportunities are going to fall out of the sky. Yeah. See, see, the whole thing is people are on to the fact that the dangling carrot is bullshit. 
And and like I said, I'm like, I'm like, okay. I'm like, you got a whole society of young men and they're armed to the teeth with AR 15s and you fucking around with their future. You know, they can't, they can't date. They can't marry. They can't start their lives. They can't develop a positive white male identity. Oh, 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 fuck around and find out. Keep fucking around and you go and find out. Anyway, that's all I got to say. That's my video. SWP out. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe.